Welcome to Drop You, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Jacob. <laughs> I'm Nathan. I'm Karina. I'm Julia. And I sincerely appreciate you being here to watch this episode. Whoa, hey, that's thanks. so nice. Me? Yes. <gasps> and I sincerely appreciate all of you in the room with me for recording this episode with me. Wow. Karina? Me? Mostly Karina. Wow. I know. But also the rest of you two a little bit. Thanks. <laughs> and I sincerely appreciate. Too. Shut up, Julia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be mean to me. Nathan's mom will be upset with you. <laughs> Nathan's mom, if you're watching, it was just a, it was just a bit. It was, was part of the joke. It was just a joke. It was just a joke. I, I love Julia I saw very real much. Malice in his eyes. <laughs> this is spousal abuse. No, it's not that. What it is is that people really wanted us to do another episode of Sincere Fan Art. People really like it when we just draw things we like. And we like to draw mm-hmm. things we like. Mm-hmm. And so we're doing it again, but this time with a little twist. <laughs> a, little, a little niche twist. A what? <laughs> a little bit of a niche twist. A bit of a niche twist. <laughs> Sorry, can you say it one more time? A little bit of a niche twist. <laughs> <laughs> a niche twist. <laughs> <laughs> we're doing things we like that are a little less well-known. Some of our niche interests. <laughs> mm. Um, and we're going to appreciate those things today. This is an unthumbnailable episode, so yeah. I hope you clicked it anyways. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> yeah, please. You who already clicked it, please click please it. Please click yeah. it. Please Thank see you. the things we like. Yeah, if you did that thing where you like accidentally leave your mouse hovered above the thumbnail and it starts auto-playing oh, the video yeah. when you're seeing yeah. the automated captions, mm-hmm. yes. please click, click it this now. video. <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> it now. And while you're at it, like and subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. Nathan, <laughs> yeah. you're up first. Ooh. What's, what did you do? What's your thing you you like that you did fan art I of? drew uh, an adventuring party that uh, my friends and I are playing this game called Shadow of the Demon Lord. Oh, I know that game. Yeah. You know that game. We've played that game before yeah. together. Yeah, I know that game. Um, and so I drew the the party from the campaign I am currently, at the time of recording this episode, playing with my friends. I will be happy to see it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you will. <laughs> wow. <laughs> my brain feels like a fried egg right now. <laughs> Let's get into it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Uh, for anyone who remembers our travel posters for fictional places video. Yeah. Uh, this is the same play group that I, I did Descent to Avernus with. Oh. oh. So we, we've been playing for a while. It's also the, the game master, the dungeon or game master for this group is, uh, is my buddy Mike, who is the same one from the, my first D&D character animation. Wow, he's been he's been D and Ding with me since we were in middle school. That's so cute. Aww. That's awesome. He also yeah. gave a toast at my wedding. Yeah, we met Mike. Yeah. You met you met Mike. It was and it was like worlds were colliding. Yeah, it's like I only knew of you through stories and yeah, tales. Yeah, I was like, oh, you're from Drawfee. <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> I'm from Drawfee. <laughs> wait. <laughs> um. So I I I've drawn our characters. I've I've sort of blocked them in here, and then I I decided to frame them. We fought this this monster, um, called the Muttering Maw. Uh, a fun thing about Shadow of the Demon Lord is it's like a, a little bit slightly more horror themed, uh, dark fantasy. And, and a little so, bit rock and roll. And a little bit rock and roll. <laughs> um, and the... <laughs> and, uh, and so the monsters are a little bit more horrific. Uh, a, a common theme in this adventure is anytime we see a monster, we all have to... Um, roll to see if we go insane. Oh. <laughs> there, there, there's a sanity stat in uh, in Shadow of the Demon Lord, and a lot of the more horrific creatures just just seeing them can cause you to to gain insanity, which um, then makes you afraid and makes it harder to do stuff. Um, I'm I'm gonna describe the characters now. Please do. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> We're letting you talk. <laughs> and uh so this one that I'm inking currently that's uh P2T 
is the is the name of that <laughs> like a qt p2 like a, t like a qt p2 <laughs> p2t uh they're a um a clockwork that was built for spycraft and they they cast spells and then we've got over there that's our, our goblin named slurp and he's he's a a, a rough and tumble kind of guy with sort of a, a cowboy gunslinger aesthetic and then my character is this big bug man you're the big bug you're i'm a the bug i'm a big that bug rules. man named shell and basically i just wanted to see how uh high of a defense score i could get on a character that wasn't wearing armor <laughs> that sounds about right <laughs> yeah that's a very that sounds correct <laughs> so i made a big a big bug man who casts a lot of um nature and uh primal spells that make him more monstrous and and buff his his unarmed uh and unarmored defense and and offense and uh this is this is a gross mouth. Yeah, but what does he feel? He feels uh, he's sort of an outsider. I mean, it's it's sort of a, a group of outsiders, you know. <laughs> yeah, we're, Whoa. we're sort of a, a band of misfits in this world. A bunch of a bunch of weirdos, and um, he sort of talks like this, and um, you know, he's he's sort of oversized <laughs> for a lot of the. The environments we're in, and it's constantly bumping into stuff and going, "Oh, excuse me, sorry." <laughs> <laughs> That's really cute. I like that. Oh, we went to we went to a, a city that was mostly populated by halflings, and I was just constantly bumping into stuff and oh. knocking stuff over. <laughs> That's rude. Well, I mean, I wasn't on purpose. <laughs> I was saying I was saying sorry while I, sorry and excuse me while I was I doing said it. Said sorry <laughs> and excuse me. He's a polite um, bug. But yeah, we've been we've been playing most weeks when we can, uh, pretty consistently. Wow, it's, it's always impressive on a D and D group with multiple friends because um, yeah, that's like coordinating as an adult to have consistent free time. Is a near impossible. Yeah. It's our little Sunday night tradition. Which it's a wonder we get this show done. <laughs> honestly, <laughs> that's um, awesome. So yeah, and I, I decided to sort of ink it in sort of this like chunky, yeah. like like sort of a comic booky pulp pulp comic booky sort of vibe because that's that's sort of the vibe of, of playing the game as well. It's everything's a little bit dark and spooky, but also kind of over the top and ridiculous. Oh yeah. At the same time. And uh yeah, I didn't didn't do anything particularly uh experimental with the colors, just some just some some flats with uh with some some chunky some chunky inks and and dark shading. Well, you don't need no more than that. And yeah. I, and I thought I I was pretty happy with how this turned out. I I I sent a a preview of this image to my uh to my play group and they were they were excited to Oh. For for this video to come out, if you're a <laughs> like a a role playing game player, it's got to be pretty cool when one of the people you play with is also an artist. Yeah, because you yeah. just know you're gonna get that free fan art. Yeah, <laughs> you know you're getting your character drawn for free. Well, if it's for a video, because I never drew our characters when we, when we <laughs> played uh, with uh, with Brian. True. No. Friend of the show, Brian Miller. Where well, I played just... a, a depressed magician. <laughs> yeah, it says to me that you just don't consider us friends. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why won't you why. draw my depressed magician? I could have told you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I consider you coworkers. Yeah, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> um, maybe I'll draw that. <laughs> it's too late. For, for another, yeah, for another I, I speed like draw. I that's not topical. Yeah, the statute of limitations is up. Okay. I do love these colors though. This yeah. orange, this like blood orange background is so good. Thank you. Yeah, this is really nice looking. It's just, you know, everything's kind of demonic and and scary and horrific and this is this was the this is the vibe of the game. And uh yeah, I just want to also just shout out Shadow of the Demon Lord as a tabletop RPG. Because you know a lot of a lot of love being being shown to D and D these days because of Baldur's Gate and stuff. But if you're mm -hmm. if you're into pen and paper RPGs and want to try something a little different, 
highly recommend Shadow of the Demon Lord. Some of the most fun uh, RPG moments I've had have been playing that game. Yeah, it rules. I like yeah. it a lot. It's so cool. Yeah, yeah. this came out great. And Thank I, you. I love the the drippy moa. Yeah. Drippy moa. It's a drippy, slimy moa. It was horrifying. Mwah. Yeah, you really uh, captured the like grossness of it yeah. very well with like the color choices and where Jeez. you chose to put the highlights. It's such little information that tells you all you need to know. It's really good. Thank you. Yeah. Great job. That's so cool, Nate. And... Thank you. That's my fan art. <laughs> I hope your play group is happy. When they yeah. see They're this. never getting it again. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's for work. <laughs> well, cool. Uh, Jacob, you want to go? I'm up next. Yeah. Woo. My special little friend <laughs> uh -huh. of a thing that I like. That's one way of saying it. It's the best way to say it. Many will agree. Um, there's, this, <laughs> there's this PS2 rhythm game. I've talked about it like plenty of times on the show, but it's called Guitaru Man. And it was very, um, not many people played it when it came out because it's like <laughs> super weird. And if you don't know what it is, you'd be like, what the hell is this? Why would I pick this up? But they had one level of it on a demo disc. And that was how I found it. Because I got obsessed with trying to beat that one level on the demo disc. Oh. Which one was um, it? It's Mojo Bo King B. Mojo King B. Yeah. yeah. I also played it. And then when Jake and I were just friends, we bonded over our love of Guitar Man. Yeah. Oh. And Julia recently found her copy of it. So I we did. Have well, a, I was looking through my childhood stuff. We have a copy stuff. of it at the apartment right now. But uh, I'll just get going on this. Three, two, one, go. So... Um, I've been having some like art struggles recently just in terms of like my art mentality has been a little like, you know, downer bummer town. Um, so I, I felt like for this one, I wanted to do something really kind of like free and scrungly to kind of break out of that, you know, mindset. So I did a couple thumbnails and then I decided I wanted to do like a thing where it's like a bunch of panels basically yeah. and uh, get some of the characters in there and draw them in my style. So uh, here's Guitaru Man, also known as U1, is the the character's name. He's like a like a sad little nerdy boy dude, and then he gets the the power of uh, this guitar that turns him into Guitaru Man, and allows him to face off in musical duels against aliens and demons and uh, various other things <laughs> Sick. Um, over the course of the adventure. So I love all of these shapes yeah. already. Thank you. Yeah, I actually really like the. Um, the general sketch of this one i had like a crisis i really like the sketch and then i was like i end up inking it with one of those like super scrungly brushes uh -huh. and then like after i got it all done i was like do i want to redo everything <laughs> and i i decided not to i decided to commit to what i had done and like finish it out um so i i'm ultimately happy with it but it's just like one of those times where you're like i don't know i felt like i couldn't like get the after I did the sketch, I had a hard time like getting the vibe going mm -hmm. Interesting. where I was like feeling happy with it. That's fair. Um, I get that. But also the sketch is really good. Yeah. Well, like I said, I really like the sketch. <laughs> <laughs> it was everything else I Are was struggling with. Are you not listening? <laughs> <laughs> I'm agreeing with you. I also like the sketch. Yeah. These, oh, this, that's my favorite song. These characters really suit your style. This robot guy. Yeah, the artist of this game, he goes by like 326, I think, or something like that. It's like three numbers. Um, and um, his art style is like super unique and and really cool and colorful. And um, it's the kind of art you look at and you're like, it looks like he had fun making it. Hell yeah. Like it just, it gives you a, a very, a feeling like you want to make something too. This is so That's cool. how I feel when I see art you make. <gasps> um, these end up not. He's going to ignore that. They don't make it into the, these choir boys don't make it into the final <laughs> render, but wow. um, that character down there is Gregorio and he um, has a little like ghost choir in his song. So oh, I was going to like include them, but then Ooh. with the way I ended up inking it, it didn't, it didn't work. So I do you like I the scrungle brush too? Yeah. Yeah. I want it to feel really energetic because the game's got like a lot of energy to it. Yeah. Um, and the art, like the way the artist does his art is also kind of like really loose Mm -hmm. um and like Im imperfect which gives it a lot of its character so i wanted to be loose and imperfect also <laughs> it's beautiful yeah what's the dog's name again 
The dog's name is. So there's a P, right? Puma. Puma. Thank you. Puma. That's a cute yeah. name for a dog. Yeah. Yeah, and he transforms too from normal dog into like a boombox robot dog. Oh, perfection. Gregorio is perfect. He says beauty is a sin. Oh God. Oh, that one. Yeah. yeah. And he's got like a glam, uh, like a horror glam aesthetic. Yeah. Uh, lots of like organs and stuff like that. Um, but it's a, it's a really fun like little game. I don't even know how you would play it now if you wanted to, unless you have a PS2. Or it's a like, PSP. Or a PSP. They did have a PSP version. But it's like really tough to emulate games like this because uh, like the syncing of like the rhythm oh. is like a little off in emulators, I think. Uh. So it's like tough to do. That's too bad. Unless they've gotten, maybe they've gotten better over the years since the last time I tried to do it. I don't know. <laughs> Let me know if you, you know, know a good way to emulate rhythm games. Uh, then the colors, I'm just like flatting in with a, like a paintbrush, yeah. basically. So that they're a little, um, there's like some, some variance yeah. across the same color. A little bit of texture. Mm -hmm. A little bit of texture. And uh, this, this was another issue was that it just takes a long time to do this. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and so like halfway make it through, easy on yourself. I was like, I wish I hadn't uh, chosen to do it this way. But you already started. But I already started. And so it's and like it either, good. either I do everything again or I keep going. Yeah. yeah. This is cool though. Yeah, it was it was fun to do ultimately. But, you know, sometimes you just get in one of those art moods where you're like, yeah, you're like, no, I hate it. Everything. <laughs> yeah. Everything is bad. <laughs> I've never been good. I'll never be good. Yep. Yeah. Ugh, you're so I annoying. That. I get You've that. You've always been good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never be like Karina, who's always been good. <laughs> <laughs> Came out the womb good. <laughs> Came out with fan art. Yeah. <laughs> I made fan art of the interior. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, then this... This is like a little alien, like techno alien. Um, yeah, it's little UFOs, right? Yeah, the UFOs. This is fun. One of my favorite levels. Yeah, fly into your heart. Yeah. I think Gregorio is probably my favorite, but I do love the Sandbone Trio as well. Yeah, I, did, I couldn't get the Sandbone Trio in here, so I just put a bone up there in the top right. To <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Them. One bone. Yeah. yeah. The Sandbone <laughs> Trio is fun because they're made out of controllers and bones. Oh. Yeah, they're like pelvises or PS2 controllers. Ooh, yeah. Me which too. is cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these colors are so yeah, good. Yeah, this, this is this fun. Rules. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Um, I only shade you one because I want him to like pop out. Yeah. yeah. So I shade him, leave everyone else flat. Yeah, fuck them. Um, and do a little do a little highlight treatment, mm -hmm. and I'll I'll switch to Photoshop here in a second. Oh, there it is. There we Whoa. So I, wanted yeah. add, I wanted to add this comic panel effect and do some little like lighting. This is like uh, a t-shirt I would wear. Ooh, um, clouds. This is a, a shutter stock image of clouds that I wanted to put like, <laughs> do like a gradient map on to yeah. like make them look yeah. funky. Mm -hmm. Jacob, this is so cool. Yeah. Yeah. How fun. Uh, and then that's where I, I end up at the end. Yeah, for being in like a weird art headspace, yeah. like, you know, in a bad art headspace, one would argue, uh, you landed in some place that's like very cool. Sometimes you need to be in a bad spot to like experiment yeah. a little bit. Yeah, I think so. I hope this broke you a little out of that headspace. Yeah. Please. I think it did. Yay. I mean, I, it was, you know, just I wanted to just like make something that was like fun and energetic. So I wasn't like thinking too much about like the technicals and, uh, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. So. With this brush that I'll, I'll, I don't, I never remember the actual name, but I will have put it in the video. Um, it won't <laughs> let you ink clean. Like it just won't let you. Mm -hmm. It's really resistant to like yeah. whatever you want to do. So <laughs> you like, can try. Yeah. It, it makes you accept this like imperfect nature, which sometimes is like what I need to, yeah, to feel good, to feel something. <laughs> you got to feel something. Uh, yeah, but that's it for me. That's awesome. Um, is Ooh. up is on to Karina next. What'd you do Who, about me? Yeah. Who me? Yeah. Um, I did something I have also referenced a couple times on on this channel. 
um, which is my favorite horror manga, Frank and Fran. Ooh, yeah, hell yeah, the one you let me borrow. Yeah, and I assume maybe you read some of it. I, I did don't read some of it. No, <laughs> but yeah, um, I've been feeling kind of just health scrungly for like going on a couple weeks or two. Yeah, um, lately, so I didn't I didn't go too hard on this, but so I, I wanted to do something a little straightforward, and I was like, this is a fun one. So, yeah. All right. I'm excited to see it. Yeah, we'll talk more about it. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. But yeah, I'm going to get ahead of people and say this is a body horror manga. Do not do not look it up if you're not into that sort of shit. I'll also get ahead of people and say um, I a, 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 a trigger warning of just various stuff in this manga, but also like I draw a bit of a bug. Um no more than Nathan did, so... Oh, but... I drew I drew a, a lot of a bug. <laughs> a big yeah, of a bug. Just, a big just of a, a heads bug. up. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to draw her looking pretty, because I love, I love Frank and Fran. She's so cute and, like, silly, but in a malicious way, and I love that. <laughs> and um, this is a reference to chapter two, which is kind of like... The, the chapter where it picks up, where... Um, the, the the story of that it, it's episodic um also i wanted to do something kind of paintery or like loose because i was also like you know i just wasn't i was tired so um because i've been bleh, and um so yeah so that's this is me struggling to figure out what style i want to do this in and then just keep struggling but yeah so in chapter two of frank and fran um it, it's an episodic story it's just every chapter is like a different story and in that chapter, a girl gets hit by a car and her while her crush is confessing and she's like, ew, I don't like you, though. But then he's the one that's like, oh, my God, she got hit by a car. Doctor, help. And Frank and er, Fran is like this like surgeon. And she's like, of course, I'll help. And she does that by um, attaching the girl's head to a bug's body. <laughs> Huh. <laughs> Amazing. And How else would you help? Yeah, because her body was all fucked up. Needed like time to make a new one, so she put her on a big giant caterpillar, and that's the kind of silly she is. <laughs> she's like, oh, she's a little silly. Um, <laughs> you know, she's just like I. <laughs> she's a little Frankenstein monster herself, and. It's not that she doesn't get people, but she's uh, not not quite <laughs> not quite right. So it's a little monstrous in that she performs all these like really weird unethical surgeries, but uh, out of out of uh, like uh, for science hum human whims. She I means guess. well. Yeah, she means yeah. well. She's but... sort of like a genie when you like ask for a wish and yeah. it comes true, but in a messed up way. Yeah, and um. But yeah, it's it's a dark comedy, so it's it's fun to me. And she also does this thing where, since she's a Frankenstein monster herself, and if she has like a lot of surgery work to do, she can have like multiple arms, so many many different hands. But my initial concept here is because uh, I wanted her to be kind of like playing with some of the characters, like toys. Um. um but I ended up being too tired to really go through with that. So I only do like, I only reference one of the characters. My bad. But yeah, so I was drawing in all of her hands. <laughs> I love the so way the, hands. Inks, the inks look on this. Yeah, yeah I was you going got kind more, of a thick and thin. yes, more sketchy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what, what brush? What uh, brush this? That's a wonderful question. Looks like it says Artemis chalk pen. There it is. All right, my Find favorite it. YA protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so oh, I wanted... that's her putting the head on the bug. Yeah, but she's little because she's a toy. Yeah, but I wanted to add more stuff, but it was too hard. That's okay. I think there's a couple points in this drawing where you see me kind of sketch in this funny little mouse in the corner, Ooh. and that's another one of my favorite chapters from the the series it's called Rolling World. <laughs> 
where there's mascots in a theme park, but they're actually all living organisms. <laughs> uh, but then I didn't feel like doing it, so he, he can fucking go. <laughs> That's such a funny. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the new dead mouse yeah <laughs> i i love the rolling world chapters the first one is one of the ones that i found like genuinely scary mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh yeah that's my that's my pitch but yeah um so i i wanted to do just kind of like a fun little portrait go a little more uh painty or drawn looking with it uh but also keep it relatively simple because i'm just I'm just a tired little guy. <laughs> I want to go to bed. Don't cough too loudly or else you'll get your head stuck to a you know, uh, bug or something. I don't want that. It looked gross. Um, but yeah, it's it's very it's a very gross manga, but it's it's funny to to Karina. So <laughs> um so I I'm a big fan of it and I got very excited because uh, it does have an official English release by like Seven Seas, and it was out of print for a while, and they finally like printed it again this year. So I was able to finally complete my entire collection of it. And now you can let Jacob borrow it again. Yeah. I can't wait. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so I wanted to have that spooky uh, red background, and uh, I decided to do like a red green kind of color palette. Because red green is not a combination I like to work with. Um, mm-hmm. It has a very uh, Christmassy quality to it, but yeah. also it's either Christmas or unsettling. Yeah, and I, yeah. it's kind of hard to like, like get the ladder. So I was just kind of trying to get the ladder. I think you um, got it. Yeah. yeah, so far you've got it. Uh, so this is a pretty simple lighting treatment where it was just uh, a little, little multiply layer, a little draw shit in. Uh, and yeah, and then add a little bit of lighting to make it look all uh, like I worked harder on it than I did. <laughs> <laughs> we love cheats. Look. <laughs> it's effective. Who cares? I can't always bring it. But if I if I won't, then I'll do my best. Uh, and then I added this like Ooh. yeah, this kind Yellow. of chartreuse uh, yeah. rim lighting, and then I think I added like a pink one to the other side. And yeah, yeah, this just, is spooky. Yeah, just to give it that spooky air. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's really fun. And yeah, I love the decision to softly pull the green away from the eyes. <laughs> you know, like even though they technically would be in shadow, it makes them pop like so much. Yeah, it's so effective. I'm I'm a bit of a one trick pony in my portraits, in that you know you just gotta really make the eyes pop, and then bam. Yeah, I actually did this subtle thing that you can't actually really see where the there's a bit of a blurry halo to the image but the eyes are like really crispy <laughs> oh, yeah i can see it if i look up at like the yeah the sides yeah so that's cool that's great I, I just love drawing like the focal point to the eyes but yeah one of the other monsters that we fought in shadow of the demon lord is was someone who steals body parts from people and like, Frankenstein's them onto himself. Another connection. <laughs> so there you go. I was thinking, I was like, oh, I want kind of a similar palette to Nathan. Yeah. And we both did kind of creepy shit and bugs. Yeah. But yeah. Wow. This is my favorite. I really like this. Horror manga. I love the four hands. Yeah. Again, you did great on all the hands. Thank you. All the hand poses. I've been, I've been really trying to bring it with my hands, but... <laughs> She's really been all hands on deck. Hey, <laughs> boom! Let's but give her yeah. a hand. <laughs> I yeah, like, great work. I like this one. If if you're into real gnarly horror manga, body horror stuff, gore and bugs and weird uh-huh. shit, this is a fun one. Yeah, and she's so cute. Well, great work, Karina. Thanks. We got one more left, and that's Julia. That's me. What you did. I did uh, a book series that I absolutely love that every time I bring it up, the audience also really loves. It's the Old Kingdom series by Garth Nix. Um, And I specifically did a book that he did called Clarial, uh, which is one of my favorite in the series. Um, And it's going to be very spoiler heavy. So if you are interested in reading the book, um, you know, maybe don't 
watch this until after you finish reading the book because it's one of the last scenes that happens in the book. Um, You've been and, warned. Yeah, mm -hmm. and I want to like describe what happens in the book to lead to it. So uh, it'll be spoiler heavy. All right, let's get into it. Yeah. Woo. Three, two, one, go. So um, Clarial, basically, it's a prequel book in the series. It's kind of like midway like in the series itself, but it takes place 600 years before the first book. Um, and it's about this character who... Um, so basically the world, it's about like free magic versus charter magic. And charter magic is like the good magic that keeps everything balanced. And then free magic is like the crazy like where what the monsters are made from and things like that and there's like a, a level of death basically where in between life and death there's a river and there's like necromancers and anti-necromancers basically i'm summing this up really quickly but anyway <laughs> this character is one that grows up in like a, a golden age and she is from a really like well-to-do family that they're all like these kind of like goldsmiths sort of thing but she um, is like a really selfish character. I mean, she's like literally a child. So she is kind of in this like spoiled era in her life. And she is really tempted by free magic. And basically what the book is, is her becoming a villain. It's like her villain origin Ooh. story. And her Whoa. character appears later in the series as the most powerful monster in the world. <sighs> Um, but basically she gets tempted by free magic um, because she's a berserker and no one teaches her how to control her anger and they just tell her to ignore it. Um, but eventually she just lets it consume her and she thinks that she's in control of her anger um, and that she's using it to her benefit. But then you see her in one of the books like in the future and she's just like, no longer human and as this book continues and as she goes into like a berserker mode she becomes like not human like she keeps a human form but like in this scene that i'm drawing um basically in the book her her parents get killed during a, a coup like a government coup and she vows to kill the people who killed her parents but really i think it's just like an excuse to basically go off you know and to to go like, ape shit yeah to mm -hmm. go absolutely ape shit go like she doesn't mode. actually care she doesn't like her parents basically she likes her dad but she hates her mom but she's still like i vow to kill these people who killed my parents mm -hmm. and when she gets to them and she finds them she like jumps off of this ledge and she snaps like both of her ankles but she's so berserk that she doesn't even pause for a second and she's just kind of like whipping at them um, and before this scene, she like puts on this free magic outfit where it's these like oversized robes, oversized gauntlets, oversized boots. Uh, she puts on this bronze mask that's kind of like the Inuit designs or like how I imagine the, you know, what he, the reference was for the mask is like, you know, like the, the very small eyes. I made them big for the sake of, you know, mood. And like a slit mouth, but when she's going berserk, like steam is literally like coming off of her. And she just is just hacking at one of the guys in the book. And she's just like, she is getting no pleasure from it. And she's wondering how and why. And like she turns around and she sees the other one who killed her parents and just like goes at him. And she's just like ignoring all pain and she's just going nuts. And she, uh, thinks she's also in control of these free magic monsters but actually they've been using her because they see that she's just an out of control teen who like thinks that she's cool shit and she's not <laughs> um so i wanted that like kind of beast like you know beast humanoid creature of like hunched over and just like she's completely lost herself um Ooh. her in the future yeah. Oh, get that. Oh, yeah. I tried an effect <laughs> and then I wound up not using it. Um, but like, her in the future in like the other books, she's like this creature that um, every time her body degrades from the free magic, she has like this tribe that's in her area bring her the bodies of of young women so that she can take them over. And that can be her new vessel. Oh, um, 
So I wanted that sort of like energetic manic energy with the first piece, but I didn't really, I don't think I committed enough for it to feel how I wanted it to feel. So I I redo it. Of course. Uh, (laughs) She took the other path from my path where I was like, "Eh, I'm just going to go with what I got. She was like, I'm not going to go with what I got. (laughs) No, I wanted to try something else. So um, yeah, dude, I, I did that. Um, I don't know if I like it better than the first one, but it's all right. <laughs> it's okay. We, you know, I learned some it. stuff. Yeah. yeah. I, um, he, Ooh. yeah, she's just like crazed, but she's still wearing that bronze mask that, um, because she's leaning into free magic and away from like the, the good <laughs> away from the light, basically. Uh, the mask starts to fuse with her face and she can't remove it anymore. Um, so she just becomes this like human, not human creature. Damn. Um, Damn. It's really cool. Like her name vaguely changes. Like her name is Clariel, but then she tells someone that accidentally she like starts to say her name, which is, you know, she gets to like Claire, but then the guy, but then she's like, oh, my name doesn't matter. Like, I'm I'm gonna move to the woods basically after this and live a peaceful life, which is not what happens. But <laughs> so that's a lie. Yeah, basically all she wants to do for the whole book is like live by herself in the woods and not be angry at everyone. This is a story about me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I saw Karina's look. <laughs> Karina slowly looking at me. Um, I just but... want to say this is looking really sick. Yeah. Thank you. I think it is better. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, I was I was going for. I was leaning into my illustration background a little so bit on this. Cool. But um yeah, and then eventually her monster name just becomes like Clore of the Mask. Clore. Yeah. Um yeah, I wanted like a lot of texture and like that sort of like hazy vagueness of her like in this castle Ooh. having to kill these these guys. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Thank, really thank cool. you. Yeah, I um I like the I liked, feeling of where it landed. I like landed both. Up. Yeah. Oh, I thank like, you. I'm glad you did too. Thank you. I'm glad you did good. too. Too. Ah, oh, thank you. I'm glad you did too. 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 Okay. Thank too. you. Okay. Thank P- you. <laughs> P- uh, I, I really P- like where you landed on it. It's like it does capture like that energy and like that violence. Like yeah. it looks like out of control. Yeah. yeah. She's truly like just bananas by the end of the book. And then actually in the <laughs> last like two pages, she brings herself back and she's like, my job is complete. I could be a normal human now. But since you've read like the first two or three books, you're like, <laughs> so oh, that's no. A lie. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I like, think so. You've become manic. And what's sad is that like the book that's just before this is that they they kill her and she like the human part of her sees what she's become and she's like, kill me. So, Damn. but yeah, Brutal. that's where I am. I love that's, yeah, that's really, really good work. Thank yeah. You. I think this came out awesome. Thanks. And I really like seeing everybody's designs of all of the things they y'all like. dark in this one, except Jacob. Yeah, mine was like the opposite of dark. But yeah, we really enjoy doing these. And if you liked seeing this, uh, let us know if you'd like us to do more stuff like this in the future. We probably will. And um, if you liked it, give us a like and a subscribe on YouTube. You can follow us on Patreon. You can give us a view on Twitch. You can check out our merch at DFTBA. And that's it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next one. We're sorry. We're sorry. Sorry. Sorry.